how can you be the best feeder in the world? Well, maybe just a really good feeder. And why is it good to uh, be able to be a good multi-shuttle feeder? Well, the answer is, uh, is actually very simple. Because uh, if I am good as the feeder, my uh, sparring partner on the other side will have uh, much better chances of using all the, the right techniques he is training, like the smash or whatever it can be. If I can place these shuttles precisely every time with the right amount of length and the right amount of height, well, the player uh, working uh, the techniques on the other side will have better chances of hitting uh, a lot of these strokes over and over again. So there's no breaks, there's no shuttles coming cross in the net all the way out to the side. If I do that as the feeder, well, the player on the other side will lose, uh, lose the, the focus on the exercise. It's really, really important to be a really good feeder and in some cases also good to be able to do the fast feeding. I will walk you through all the, the details on how to hold the shuttle, how to, to hit the shuttle and all these small technical things. It's actually uh, pretty easy, but there are also uh, some things that you need to be careful about. So uh, let's get going. I will uh, walk you through all the elements. First thing is how to hold uh, the, the shuttle up on your arm. In this case, I have uh, 12 shuttles. And the um, first thing that's important is that you don't um, cover the shuttles like this. So it's very tricky for me to take the shuttles uh, out of my own hand. So you need to open up your arm like this so the shuttles are easy to get, get to and to, uh, to pull out of your hand. That's the first thing. Second thing is you uh, need to place your arm in front of your body. So don't hold it like this. So you need to go all the way over here or hold it up here very tight. It needs to be comfortable for you. Open up your arm and keep it in front of your body like this. As you can see, I'm using these two fingers to um, take the shuttle out of my hand. And uh, what's important when I do this is that I don't take it like this. If I do that, the angle on the shuttle will be like this. And if I throw this shuttle down to, my, uh, to the strings, well, the shuttle will rotate and then it will be really tricky for me to hit it properly. And in that case, if I hit it just a little bit off, it can go in either direction and I won't be able to hit precise strokes for, for the player on the other side. So open up your arm, your racket arm, and take the shuttle out like this. Because then you have the right angle on the shuttle. It's easy for me in this position to drop the shuttle in front of my strings and do the precise hit. So when I have the shuttle in my hand, it's important that I don't throw it up in the air, waiting for it to come down and hit it. Well, I can do it, but it's, it's a bit more slow and it can also be a bit more unprecise because there are more things going on. I want it to be a small, quick movement. You need to, um, you need to be able to hit them really fast, pull them out really fast, so we can put, in some cases, more pressure on the on the player working on the other side. Let me show you uh, some examples on how to drop the shuttle. I take it out here and then I just leave it down to my strings. So as you can see, I'm almost only just opening my fingers and the shuttle and the movement in my arm will do the rest. So don't throw it and hit it. My, uh, my grip is, um, is opened up a bit 
we have the forehand grip and I'm just opening it up just a little bit so the angle of the strings is parallel with the net. I will take six shuttles very, very slowly so you can see what's going on. And the last six I will do uh, very, very fast so you can see how I do it with a lot of pace, with a lot of uh, quick movements down here. Let me, uh, let me show you. So the slow one, drop the shuttle, hit the shuttle, small movements like this. And then we go to the fast one. So you can see it's very, very small movement, just like this. There's no big movements. So in this, using this technique, I can do it really, really quickly. And it's still really precise down in the corner in, in this example. Finger power this and then I will take up the speed oh, blueberry don't do this at home kids <laughs>